through the wall. Yeah, take out the Great Wall. <laughs> oh, my word. Brad, here we are in the bunker, such an important part of the game, of course. You don't win seven major titles unless you know what you're doing, so Mr Palmer, clearly a master of the bunker, but what can you share with us to help us at home? Well, I want to share with you one of my favourite lessons that I received when I was down in Australia playing the Australian tour. And a good friend of mine, Ian Baker Finch, said, you got to go see this guy, Norman Von Nida. I didn't realise it before we went to see him, but he was Peter Thompson's coach. Right. And a lot of others. In fact, the, the lesson before me was number one player in the world, Greg Norman. The one after me is the one that impressed me the most. It was Gary Player. And I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, I've been coming to see Norman Von Nida since 1958. And, and he's taught me so much, you're going to really uh, benefit from this. So I want to share with you what Norman Von Nida taught me. Okay. And he called this the Great Wall of China. And ah. so we've built this little wall here by pushing up some sand. And he's, he pointed out to me early on that when you start your bunker game, the reason why you're struggling is because you're bottom out at different places. And so you want to start by setting up a little bit differently. So he drew a line like this. He wanted me to take my, my body lines and move them about 10, 10 degrees to the left, okay. feet, hips, and shoulders. Aim the club 10 degrees open. So I've got some bounce now working for me. And you see, when I put it on the, in the ground, like in the sand like this, it, it can drag yeah. and not dig in. This would be a digger right here when it's square. So mm -hmm. just a little bit of open face, 10 degrees is enough to have some bounce working. So I'm 10 degrees to the left, 10 degrees to the right with the face. Yep. And from here, all I want to do is get the feeling I kind of keep everything anchored left, let the club hinge early with my hands, then hold the angle and then turn the torso through. And I let the hands and arms follow the torso turn and notice that it bottomed out right on that line. Versus if I release it with my hands early, it may look something like that. So you see your marks very quickly. Yeah. And so we'd set it up again, hinge it, hold the angle, lead with the torso turn. Ah, I love it. All right, and the better that you lead with your torso turn, the more consistent the bottom of your splash is gonna happen. You can see both of those were right on the line. So I want you to try that for okay, me. Okay, that's very interesting. Because we know we've got to get the club back down to the sand, but how you get it there is probably just as important. Yeah, so keep, it, keep everything left as far as weight. Yeah. Hinge it early, hold the angle, turn the torso through. Okay, so nice hinge there. Yep. Very good. Just a little bit early. So there's a little bit of a throw with the hand. So try it again this time. Hinge it, hold the angle, turn it through. Okay. Beautiful, right on the money that time. And you notice how shallow it was too. Really wow. good splash. Try it again for me. That's really interesting. Hinge it, hold it, turn it through. So I'm actually hinging and then if I were to do it in slow-mo, cause my torso is turning, yep. it's a little bit like that. Obviously you will release eventually. The centrifugal force is gonna release it. Beautiful, right on the money. All right, so. That was on the money. We're going to put these two over here and I want you to do the same thing. Through the wall. Yeah, take out the great wall. <laughs> oh my word. Hinge it, hold it, turn it through. Okay, this is quite scary. Wow. Very nice. And what that about that zip? Right on the money, yeah, good zip. And you created your speed from the rotation not necessarily with just your hands throwing. Yeah, and there was a lot of sand between the ball and the club That's face. And absolutely, still... yeah, and it still had good uh, spin to it. It did. Good, try it again, okay. same feeling. Stay anchored left, Okay. hinge it up, hold the angle, turn it through. Turn, okay. That was beautiful. Now, let me tell you something. If you take a look at the stats of the Australian players, Yeah. They're really good out of the bunker. And there's one reason. Norman Von Nida has been passing this information down from generation to generation. You work on this little drill, and I'll guarantee it's going to help your, your bunker game immensely. I think the proof's in the pudding there. Yeah, Brad, absolutely. that's a fantastic tip. Hopefully we'll help you at home as well, as much as it has me. Thank you very much. My pleasure.